Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to connect Node.js to MongoDB database. So to do that we need to create first a repo on GitHub and name it anything. Then create the repo, copy the repo link, go to any place in your computer, open the command line, git clone and the link from GitHub. Now we have created our project folder. So to see our project folder, we can just say there and then here just copy your project folder name, go inside it by saying CD. Now clear up the console. So the first thing is we will install some packages. Here I have this step-by-step -step guide to help you with, the, with everything. But before that, we will also initiate a package JSON. So let's first say npm initiate yes. And now let's install those packages. So our packages are installed. So now let's go to MongoDB. Yeah, here you need to, of course, have a profile on MongoDB Atlas. So the first thing to do is to create a new project. So let's create this. Let's name our project as YouTube. Uh, all right, it can stay. Let's create the project and here we will create a deployment choose the free option you can choose any place which is closest to you you don't need to name it you don't need to tag it let's create it and here you can use username and password or certificate better to use a username so you can type anything here I will type as soft domain dose and for the password, you can use your own password. So I will just say one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's create the user. The password is too weak, of course. Let's put two dash and two dot. That's now created. Nice. And for the second question, where would you like to connect from? You might be tempted to choose my local environment, but I advise you to choose cloud environment. And you can add your current IP address, but again, I advise you to enter this general address, which means that you can connect your database from any place. And description it can be any, you know, it's up to you. What's the difference adding your current IP and this 00 IP? It means that, for example, if you go to a cafe tomorrow, and if you would like to access this database again, you will not be able to do that because cafe IP address is different than your home IP address. So I kind of advise you to use this IP address as this project is going to be only for testing. So you don't need to complicate your work. And yeah, we can now finish and close. Congratulations set up, go to overview. Let's wait for a few seconds. Now we can click on disconnect and click on drivers. You will see Node.js. We have already installed MongoDB, so you just need to copy this. This is your URI, copy it. And now, open your project on VS Code. And here we will be creating a server.js file and also a database.js file. But before that, we will create a .env file to store our MongoDB URI. Uh, we will use it to connect to MongoDB. So let's name this variable as server Mongo Yuri. And here we have the name that we have entered, as you might remember. And for the password, you just need to say the I mean you just need to enter the password that you have just created a few minutes ago. So one, two, three, four, five, six, dash dash dot dot. Close this. Nice. Let's now create a server.js and also let's create a database JS file. So maybe we can first start with the database JS file. So here we will first import the .env file and later we will import mongoose. And now we can access to uh, database connection URI, which we have just saved inside this .env file. And later we can create our connection function. So const connect. 
You better to name your connection function also as like connect db and also your file name is database js because these are conventions i kindly advise you to not name it as db db is too short and sometimes it can have a name conflict with some other things so inside here you can use try catch it's totally up to you you don't need to okay now let's go up so the connection code is actually very simple you just say await mongoose connect Well, it's not that simple. We also need to put Yuri. If at the end of the video we can print out this message to the console, it means everything was fine, we are successful. Now we can close this, but before that we need to export this function actually. So let's say module exports, we will export what? We will export this function so that we can use it in the server file. It's finished now. Let's close this. Let's go to server file. So we will import two packages, express and path. And now we can add connection code to the server file. And please never name your server file as index.js or main.js. It's such a loser way of defining a file every time name it as server.js. This file is about server. If you see on the internet somebody naming it, naming it as index.js or somebody naming it, naming it as main.js, you should know that those people are losers. You shouldn't listen to them and yeah follow the conventions every time and yeah so i forgot what i was doing actually so now we have created that yeah we, are, we were about to add this connection code so let's say const connect db now we can run that connection function by saying connect connect db and i will now enter some standard code for uh, for port listening and actually it's finished now this is done this is done of course we need to create a git ignore file so that's it and it's also finished let me check this guide yeah yeah i forgot to configure actually the package json file we need to also configure it because uh, where is it it's here yeah so as you have seen it says index.js we don't have index.js thank god we have server.js and here by saying npm start we will be starting the server or you can just say not server.js and it also provides you this client uh, client script so in case you have a front end in your project folder you can run that client folder which will contain your react project by saying npm client but for now, this is not the topic of this video. You can just ignore these uh, extra settings. And this engines node, you might be wondering what it is. Don't forget this comma here. You might be wondering what it is. This will prevent later, for example, if you decide to upload this project to, to some platforms like Render or Heroku, if you have some paid serve, paid packages or some other platforms, you know. So if, you, if you're going to deploy them, you might face some errors. And if you don't want to face those errors, then you better to add these uh, engine scripts, engines script. And actually that's it. Now we can close this. So let's pray to God that everything is fine. Yeah, app is not defined, of course. So let's go here. Let's say const app is equal to express. And that's it. So yeah, as you can see, we didn't use path, but we used express package. So now let's close this. Now let's try it again. So if I say node server JS, it should be fine. Yes, as you can see, it's very small. I'm not sure if you see it, but it says server is running on port 5000 and connected to MongoDB. Everything is fine. That's how you could connect your node.js to MongoDB. See you in the next video. Bye bye.